Hello. Good Hello. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey Raj, you're right on time today. Very punctual. Okay. <laughs> Had your breakfast? Uh, I, I, yeah, it's okay now. What happened? I couldn't listen to you for, uh, I was just plugging in my earphone again. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Fine. fine. So good to meet you today. Hope you're having a good day. All fine? Yeah, everything is fine at my end. And how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Not bad. Uh, so yes, very nice to meet you today. I was just asking you if you had your breakfast. Yeah, I have. And you? Yes, done. Just now, I think five minutes before the session, uh, I had my okay. breakfast. Same pinch. We did at the same time, maybe. Huh. Yes, yes. I gobbled it down very fast. <laughs> okay, then yeah. great. So, um, hmm. so you are very passionate about cricket. You've been, um, I think, a very competitive cricket player uh, back in the days, right? Uh, so, in your entire journey, right, uh, is there any one cricketer uh, who's had the most influence on you? I remember... In one of our earlier sessions, I asked you, who do you think is the future of Indian cricket? And that you had answered with a couple of names. But if I have to ask you about one of your inspirations uh, with from whom you used to draw strength or motivation, who was it? Not a single one. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. I would always pick at least three or, or maybe five or six names. Sachin, hmm. Tendulkar, Saurabh Kangli, hmm. Rahul Dravid. Mm -hmm. Virinder Sehwag, Yuvraj Singh, mm -hmm. and, and there are a few ballers as well, especially mm -hmm. Kapil Dev. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when it comes to taking inspiration, of course, I have never been into uh, professional cricket, mm -hmm. so uh, I have not watched them or looked up to them like mm -hmm. that, but uh, to take uh, something in general, like uh, the patience that they have or they mm -hmm. show, especially mm -hmm. uh, Rahul Dravid, mm -hmm. the kind of patience he did not show only uh, on the field, but even off the field, he is mm -hmm. show patient. Uh, same goes with Sachin Tendulkar. Yeah. So I, I learned these things from them. I, I try to imbibe that if I can get at least 1% of them, yeah, that would be uh, more than enough. Nice. Because uh, even after achieving so much, they mm -hmm. are so down to earth. Mm -hmm. So these things are surely to learn. Yes, truly. And um, for me personally, I think the story of Yurat Singh is quite inspirational. Um, at one point, he was diagnosed with cancer, right? And then after yeah. getting treated, he came back and again smashed uh, his opponents after his comeback correct and uh, uh, the major uh, i mean the best part of the story is mm -hmm. that he knew that he has uh, cancer mm -hmm. yet he he had to play the world cup mm -hmm. 20, uh, 2011 and she went on to playing after mm -hmm. finishing that world cup he mm -hmm. went on to uh, uh, get treatment wow uh, truly i think in order to uh, achieve anything significant in life of course you need to be very talented but in addition to that you should also have some solid mental strength don't you think definitely hmm. okay great so uh, do you believe in engaging in positive self-talk yeah but i uh, feel that unless this positivity positivity comes from within you are not going to get anything uh, from such talks. Okay. It can be encouraging for a few times or days, mm -hmm. but uh, after that, the effect of the same will fade away unless you practice it uh, on a regular basis. So yeah. the motivation should always be be from within and not from uh, the outer side, external side. Yes, yes, absolutely. And uh, one of the biggest things that I've noticed about people who are extremely strong is 
they don't speak too much about themselves they don't speak too much in general right uh, they speak as much as is needed they're very pleasant throughout of course they're not rude but uh, their words are very measured <laughs> that's something i've noticed they don't let on too much as well definitely yeah it's a nice observation yes so do you know anybody like this uh, who is a gem of a person and is also very measured with their words don't speak too much but are very pleasant to be around the in terms of celebrity i have already taken the name no 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 in general in your in social general, also if there's someone like that in, in general of course there are a few people like them hmm. but uh, not up to that level so what hmm. i'm trying to say is that uh, even they do not consider themselves hmm. to be in a position from where they behave like this so sometimes they might behave and the other time they behave in general hmm. they behave uh, normally general, yeah hmm. very well. great uh, so yes yesterday i had uh, an opportunity to meet such a person so i just thought of uh, knowing your opinion on that uh, if you have anything to discuss with me today anything specific you can let me know yeah yesterday we uh, decided two things you recommended to test me on pretzel pops yes and uh, i had suggested you the rapid fire round <laughs> answer question answer correct and the oh. rapid fire we did play a bit of it towards the end of the session so yes right. let's get started with phrasal verbs first and then we will move on to the uh, quiz okay all right okay so what i'll be doing now is uh, i'll give you some simple sentences um and based on the context of the sentence you have to guess the meaning of the phrasal verb inside it theek okay? hai okay yeah so let's get started and the first one is e-commerce businesses tap into social media to increase sales e-commerce businesses tap into social media to increase sales so here the phrasal verb tap is into. tap into hmm. so tap into uh, means to e-commerce tap into uh, could you repeat the sentence tap into social media to increase sales so like it's uh, it has uh, entered the market tap into means entering the market uh, tap into means to make the best use of a resource or an opportunity okay okay tap into yes uh, your coach decided to tap into your cricket cricketing potential and uh, gave your name for the under 19 cricket team so he decided to make the best use of your skills and gave your name to the under 19 okay like okay that. Okay. got it right uh, the next one is fine uh, let's break down the project into manageable tasks so break down does it mean to destroy the project or anything break uh, break down means uh, making it uh, ab abrupt according to the need so breaking down mm -hmm. something it simply mm -hmm. means to decode it in some way right or uh, to uh, break something into simpler portions yeah okay to break something into simpler portions for example if you are explaining a complex mathematical theorem uh, to your students you can say let's break it down into uh, simpler parts first so then you explain this to them step by step yeah or even uh, for a question like if there is a, a question hmm. which covers in five or six sentences Hmm. so i would i can say that first break down the hmm. meaning of the question uh, sentence by sentence hmm. and then you will be able to understand it properly works a good example again uh, the next one uh, let's say that you are at a social gathering and you're feeling a little shy you're feeling a bit um, reserved and i come up to you and i tell you hey raj feel free to chime in if you have any suggestions Right. Feel free to chime in if you have any suggestions. What's the meaning of chime in? C H I M E. Chime. Feel free to chime in. Hmm. If you have any suggestion. 
Yes. So uh, understand the context also that you are feeling shy and reserved. You're not uh, yeah. really engaging in the conversation. And I'm telling you, chime in, give your suggestions. So yeah, you can think from the yeah. context. So from the context, it's it suggests that you have to come up with something which can uh, which can uh, brighten the party. Right. Uh, chime in is an invitation that you give to someone to join the conversation okay, okay. so the opposite of jump in maybe not or opposite of jump in a synonym of jump in Syno synonym of jump in. yeah jump into yeah, the yes, conversation synonym. because yeah. jumping is something that you do it on your own and mm -hmm. others might not like that so i thought mm -hmm. uh, in that context i thought it as a no, no 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 it's okay you can even say um they were my friends were having a dis discussion and i chimed in so you can use it independently also so it's not like always it has to be an invitation it can even be an independent initiative okay okay yes so you know these beautiful um, decor that people have in their home uh, wind chimes wind chimes Yes, you know, when the wind comes, there are these small bells that people hang on. Yeah, the uh, and then of it course, makes a beautiful course. sound. Yeah. Right. That's time. It is to make a sound. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the next so, one. So the fragile verb come, uh, comes from there. Yes, it does. The next one uh, the new management team uh, brought about positive changes in the company. Brought about. So if we just listen to brought about, it sounds a little strange, but now as part of the sentence, the new management team brought about positive changes in the company. So what does that mean? So bring about, the brought about is the second form of bring about. True. And it simply means to uh, to bring something in, uh, some new change maybe. Yes, very good. Some new to change. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. And the last one for the day. Okay. Um, hmm, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let's zero in on the main cause for this problem. Let's zero in on the main cause of this problem. What is zero in? Uh, zero in means let's focus on the main problem. Very good, Raj. Excellent. I think out of the four that I asked you, uh, you were able to guess three, three out of four. I think just one was a bit uh, tough, probably. Yeah. Tap and two, you were able to guess the meaning. You came really close. Chime in was the only thing that I guess was a bit new. But other than that, really nice. Really, really good. Okay. Cool. Okay. Do you have any questions regarding this? No. Okay. Do you want any example sentences for any of the phrasal verbs that have been discussed yet? Uh, if you allow, let me try. Yeah, sure. Why don't you make a sentence with zero in on? Hmm. So, uh, whenever I... Uh, while teaching, I ask my students to hmm. zero in on the main concept. Hmm. Hmm. OK. Um, yeah. One more, please. Whenever I am in any meeting yes. and people are not interested, mm -hmm. maybe talking on something else, I hmm. ask them, please zero in on the uh, topic for which we are here. Very good. Very good. This is a great one. Okay, so you're asking them to specifically give their own opinions and focus, basically to focus on. Yeah. Good one, good one. So yeah, that's about it. That's about some phrasal verbs. The basic phrasal verbs, I feel like you know them already. Uh, so these are considered to be phrasal verbs for C1, C2 level speakers. So because you have okay. the potential, you would be able to easily imbibe it into your speech. So that was the whole point of choosing them specifically. Okay. Right, great. So moving on, uh, let's do that quick um, rapid fire, shall we? Definitely. Okay. So yesterday, what are some personalities that we had discussed? Uh, one was Sachin Tendulkar, next Mother Teresa and Amitabh Bachchan. Did we discuss anyone else? Elon Musk. 
Elon Musk, right? Right, Elon Musk. Okay. So let's start. Yeah. The first one, Yuvraj Singh. A symbol of toughness that how even after being in critical situation, you can focus on your main goal and then you can come back hmm. from any situation. Great. So the next one is Narayan Murthy, sir. The co-founder of Infosys. Yeah. So a great uh, businessman and a philanthropist. Hmm. Good. Yes, philanthropist. Absolutely. The third one is uh, Shah Rukh Khan. Symbol of love in Bollywood. Hmm. And, uh, and and what is the first thing like, that you uh, can think of when you king of romance Charles Charles. of love and king of romance and king of romance romance okay fine beautiful <laughs> this is amazing so the next one is Arijit Singh a great singer Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody who adopt, uh, adapted himself mm -hmm. to the change in music. Mm -hmm. And why I feel like this? Because mm -hmm. it was the year two, two, 2004 or 2000. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It was in year 2004 and 2005 mm -hmm. when the singers were uh, in reality shows. Mm -hmm. Abhijit Sawan, Rahul Vadya, Arjit yes. Singh. So at that point of time, Arijit Singh was not that famous and the others were quite famous. But mm. the change in, change in music industry was adapted well by Arijit Singh and he went on to becoming a bigger star and yes. they could not uh, match up to that level. Absolutely. So he created, uh, he revolutionized the music industry. Everything he touched turned into gold, I feel. Um, I think the first song that can be considered as a breakthrough for his career, I think it was Tum Hi Ho from Ashiki. I think that put, pushed him to the forefront. And from there, I think there was no looking back. He just went on to break one record after another. Definitely. Yes. Okay. Now, focusing on some of the women, shall we? All right. Yeah. The Mother Teresa we did last time. The next personality would be Kalpana Chawla. Uh, one of uh, the symbol of uh, high achievers mm -hmm. and someone who has inspired millions in our, in our country and in the world to become mm -hmm. scientists. Okay. Uh, so can we call her a pioneer? Because she was yeah. started a trend for women to get into Definitely. Like, she propelled that, right? Okay. The second one would be Mary Com. One of the great, uh, greatest uh, athletes of Athlete. our country, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, an Olympic winner for sure. Yes. So pr uh, proud of India. Okay, you can give it some thought. You can give it some thought and maybe come up with some adjectives to describe like Shah Rukh Khan was the king of romance, right? Uh, so that yeah. was very interesting. Uh, of course, these women are surely. Uh, they they're very inspirational but if you have to be more specific to their field that would make the answers more interesting yeah so you can take yeah. your time there's no hurry okay yeah. so uh, a resilient athlete mm -hmm. resilient okay do you know anything about her story uh, Nothing. Maybe I'm I'm even forgetting that in which year did she won. That's uh, okay. Don't need the details. Yeah. Uh, like this technical details are fine. But uh, if you don't know of her story, then surely you can watch um, some basic interviews of her, okay, where she talks about her journey and her struggle. And she also faced a bit of racism as well during the initial stages, you know. Um, yeah, she faced a bit of racism and how she overcame that. So you can surely check it out. Then maybe you would be able to come up with better things. Otherwise, if we don't know too much about the person, then I understand. Even I wouldn't be able to do it. 
so it's okay the next one surely you would love to uh, describe her uh, lata mangeshkar ji my god yeah the symbol of <laughs> yes uh, someone who is uh, just treated as god of singing and uh, uh, a melodious voice she has yes See, and no matter which song you talk about yeah or all her songs hmm. are an emotion to itself hmm so good all her songs are an emotion in itself right yes yes truly beautiful raj amazing so um the way your eyes just lit up when you heard lata mangeshkar and then <laughs> the smile on your face made it evident um, how much respect you have for her and her music right definitely yes i think out of all the names that we took the one time your eyes just shone was for <laughs> lata mangeshkar ji <laughs> so it was very nice to see good efforts really good for the celebrities um or for whom you knew a lot of information about um you answered it really well it it touched uh, a chord with me like shahrukh khan was the king of romance um arijit singh was like a revolutionary in the field of music um so it was really good i'll give you two or three other figures uh try to research about them okay and uh, yes you can just consider this as an assignment uh, and try to describe them in a sentence okay okay all right the first one is um, kiran bedi okay okay yes kiran bedi is the first one and the second person yeah. would be uh, jeff bezos so uh, the founder of amazon so jeff bezos and kiran bedi these are the two people or uh, on whom you can just research about a little bit and frame a sentence to describe them by summarizing their whole journey yeah yeah so even for kiran bedi i would say sure uh, someone who inspired a whole a whole lot of uh, girls to join in uh, ias and ips services mm. because he is the first women ips of india and uh, all the things that she has done is remarkable and when she joined uh, the anna hazare mm. uh, movement even mm. at that point of time she did great Mm-hmm. but after that i do not have the track of her books correct i think after that the media attention slowly started to fade away but until that point of time i think she was very uh, she was prominent on media in news channels tv shows interviews so she was uh, in the and, news and, and at the same time of course she is a symbol of uh, the gender uh, whenever we talk about women empowerment yes so, she is uh, the symbol of that and she mm-hmm. has done great work in that field as well yes. inspired many people and shown uh, to the society that how a woman can lead yes a, a, a woman can lead sorry not a woman a woman can lead, woman can lead yes you know honestly um, what what you were trying to say i think was uh, she broke gender stereotypes that's what i use yeah, of course Yes, she broke the gender stereotypes. Truly, truly, um, I think millions of years ago, or maybe even thousands of years ago, uh, women were in leadership positions, etc. And then gradually, the power diminished, right? And then again, there was a resurgence through women like these, like Kalpana Chawla, like Kiran Bedi. So there was a resurgence in women empowerment. I feel like what they did. is actual feminism what they did is actual women empowerment which is to show women that yes you are more than just your beauty you have brain you have strength so you can use it for the benefit of the society i feel like these women are the actual feminists the face of women empowerment definitely yeah okay great so i think uh, this has been one of the most uh, enriching conversations with you for sure it was something different because it was a lot of activities blended into one session So it was yeah. real, yeah. And if you have any queries or questions, uh, please let me know. You did a fabulous job, by the way. Really, really good. Okay. So, uh, nothing, nothing special that I want to ask. Okay. It's just that I have not been able to catch that uh, pronunciation yet. Decision. 
decision is it okay. coming good no both of the times it's coming at c and the second time it's coming as z okay can i tell you to pronounce shun shun right shun means what to discard someone or something or isolate someone shun right. from the society shun so now decision can you say that decision perfect you got it so there is a bit of a j sound in decision but um if it's hard to pronounce first you can try pronouncing it this way and then slowly add the z sound in it but this is step 1 pronounce shun multiple times combine it with dc and you have decision it is not completely incorrect like decision no? this is much better okay but uh, that is a particularly for this word what about the other words which this with this sound like vision 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 is it vision or vision 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 yes it is actually vision okay but yeah. if you notice carefully the sh and j sound are mixed so instead of completely eliminating the sh sound and making it vision it is much easier to understand if you say vision so at least the other person would get to know this is what you're trying to pronounce and then after repeating it multiple times slowly we can make alterations to how it should be but this is the step one i hope uh, i broke okay. it down to you in this yeah of course okay so if i have to give you one word uh, let's say m i s s i o n how will you pronounce it mission uh if i add p e r in front of it permission uh if i add ad in front of mission add mission if i add com in front of mission commission if i add vi in front of sion vision no it's admission permission commission vision vision just say vision vision just say that vision vision okay. Yes, try that. Okay, try that, and then slowly we will add the z sound. Don't focus on the z sound now. Okay? okay. Now focus on pronouncing it how v i plus s h u n. Try to pronounce it like that. Try it. Vision. Perfect, Raj. It's good. It's good enough. Okay. Yeah. A bit of a solution. A bit of hope. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yes. Truly, this is much better. If okay. I tell you my vision is to be a doctor, you will know what I'm trying to say. But if I say my vision is to be a doctor, then it takes a bit of time to grasp what was just said, right? So you can try this. Okay. Okay. Wishing you the best. Uh, you did a great job. Even in the pronunciation task, you grasped what was what I was trying to say. So keep practicing, and you will reach there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Raj. Take care. Bye bye. As always, it was lovely talking to you. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Have bye. a great day. I'll see you in another session. Yes, I will. Take care. Bye bye.